This video is on binomial distribution. In today's video, we have a problem here. That is, the probability that John hits a target is half. He fires six times. Find the probability that he hits the target exactly two times, more than four times, and at least once. The probability that John hits a target is half. So, P is equal to half here. And obviously, Q is, is equal to half. He fives six times here. N value is equal to six. And now we have to find the probability that he hits the target for exactly two times, more than four times, and at least once. So, first of all, we have to write that. We have to follow from the question that P is equal to the probability of John to hit the target is equal to half. Probability of hitting a target. Probability of hitting a target by John is equal to half. We know that the total probability is always equal to 1. So, P plus Q is equal to 1. If I substitute half here, that is half plus Q is equal to 1. And Q is equal to, this is 1 minus half. And Q is again equal to half. So, we got the value of Q is equal to half. And also here, P value is equal to half. So, P value is equal to half. And see from the question here, he fights six times. Now n value is equal to six. So we have n value is equal to six. And now n value is equal to six. Now we have to find the probability that he hits the target exactly two times. So now exactly two times. So the probability of hitting the target exactly for two times is nothing but for solution one. So, that is exactly 2 times, which means that probability of x is equal to 2. So, we have a formula that ncr, this is p power r and this is q power n minus r. If it's probability of x is equal to r. And now, see here, n value is equal to 6. p value is equal to half and q value is equal to half. If I substitute, that is a 6c2, half power r. 2 and this is half power again 6 minus 2. So, 6 c 2 n factorial by n minus r factorial into r factorial. So, here so or else 2 backward steps that is 6 into 5 by 1 into 2 and this is 1 by 2 square and this is 1 by 2 power 4. So, if I cancel in 2 table so this will be 15 into 1 by 2 square and this is uh, 2 power 6. So, the value here is 15 into, this is 15 into 2 power 6. The value here is, this is 15 into half 0 0.5 cap 6. And now, see the value here is 0 0.234375. So, this is how we have to solve for getting exactly two times success. Hitting the target exactly for two times is 0 0.234375. And the next question is more than four times. And now we have to check that. So as we have P value is equal to half, Q value is equal to half and N value is equal to here six times. And now solution two. So, what is the solution to? So, probability that he hits the target more than 4 times. So, more than 4 times means the probability that John hits the target for more than 2 times. That is probability of uh, x greater than 4. So, greater than 4 means probability of x is equal to 5 plus the probability of x is equal to 6. Now, we have a formula that probability of x is equal to r is nothing but this is ncr p power r this is q power n minus r. So, if I substitute in this then 
probability of x greater than 4 is nothing but so here n value is equal to 5 n c r r here is again 5 sorry n here is 6 6 c 5 p power r and next q power n minus r and next probability of x is equal to 6 n c r p power r and this is q power n minus r so 6 c 5 1 by 2 power 5 and this is 1 by 2 power 1 and 6 c 6 this is 1 by 2 power 6 and this is 1 by 2 power 0 6 c 5 so 6 back 5 backward steps that is 6 into 5 into 4 into 3 into 2 divided by 1 2 3 4 5 5 backward steps 1 2 3 this is 4 into 5 this is 1 by 2 power 6 and this is 6 is 6 this is 1 this is again 1 by 2 power 6 and see if I cancel 2 and this is 3 this is 4 and this is 5 what remains here 6 into 1 by 2 power 6 and this is also 1 by 2 power 6 so, if I take 1 by 2 power 6 common, this will be 6 plus 1. And see here, the value is 7 by 2 power 6. And see, the probability of hitting the target for more than 4 times is nothing but, this value is nothing but 7 into 0 0.5 power 6. The value here is, this value is 0 0.109375. And next, and next value here is, next, at least once, at least once means solution 3. Solution 3 is probability of hitting the target for at least once. At least once means minimum 1. So, maximum. So, x is greater than or equal to 1. So, this can be written as 1 minus probability of x is equal to 0. So, here n c r n is equal to 6 c naught p to the power of r and next q to the power of n minus r. So, this value will be 1 minus 6 c naught is 1. Anything to the power of 0 is 1. And this is 1 by 2 power 6. This value is 1 by 2 power 6. And see here, this is 0 0.5 power 6 into minus 1 plus 1. The value here is 0 0.984375. The value that hitting the target for at least one is 0 0.9843 so this is how we have to solve thank you so much for watching and see here here it is very clear that p is given as half and q is equal to half and n is equal to six here r is equal to two here more than four means five and six and at least ones so in order to calculate from minimum one to six so it is easy to calculate from one minus zero 1 minus 0. So, this is the answer. And this is also so simple if you follow these steps. Thank you so much for watching and staying till the end.